Hey, so welcome to this real quick walkthrough of Isotope's Neutron 3 plugin. I just want to say up front so you're not disappointed, this isn't a fully in depth review. I'm a composer by trade and I have to mix my own stuff quite often, so I'm intrigued as to how this AI mix assistant will do and will compare to my uh, seasoned amateur mixing skills. So let's dive in. I've um, just written a track. Um, for this, so we'll, it's unprocessed at the moment, so I'll just go ahead and play it. Uh, you can hear it up front. Okay, so to start with on the AI Mix Assistant bit, you have to add what's called the Relay plugin. Uh, which is the plugin that speaks to the main mix assistant plugin. You have to put the relay plugin on every track, so I'll just go ahead and put that on uh, every track now. Uh, I'll speed it up in editing so it doesn't take forever. Um, you have to make sure that the relay plugin is at the top of every plugin chain uh, on each track, otherwise, you could have some weird results. I didn't do that to start with and had some bizarre, very unbalanced mixes coming out. put it on every bus, make sure it's at the front, and then go ahead and add the main Neutron 3 plugin to the master bus. There's two different types of uh, mix assisting that can happen here. You can do it um, just track by track, or you can do an overall balance of the mix, and that's what I'm going to do now. So select that, make sure um, all my tracks are zeroed out level-wise and balance wise, everything's in the center, everything's at naught. We'll just go through and check everything. And then once that's done, hit the listen button and play the track again. Uh, you have to focus uh, so that I guess the AI needs an instrument to put everything around. So I choose the drums for this one. I just felt like the drums was a good focus for this track. I'll speed this section up in post so we're not listening to the whole track. But you have to listen to the you have to let the uh, plugin listen to the entire track to get the best results. Okay, and then when you've done that, you can um, hit go to results and then it takes you to this um, section that has um, the music split up into five categories and the AI has gone through and listened to each track put each track in one of the categories and then balanced it out itself sometimes it gets the categories for each instrument wrong so you can change it here as I'm doing And then once you make sure everything's in the right category, you can adjust the levels of each category to your liking. So I'm just going to raise the bass a little bit there. You can already hear a big difference. I'm happy with that, hit accept. Uh, there's a couple tracks in here that I just want to um, pan out with. There's a couple guitar tracks and a couple vocal tracks I want to pan hard left and right, so I'll just do that. And left and right. Okay. Now, another part of the Neutron plugin is this visual mixer, which is pretty cool. So you can, um, every track they've got is represented by one of these circles and you can move it around the stereo image just by clicking and dragging. Up and down is level and left and right obviously is pan. So I'm just moving some of the guitars out, um, might be some of the synths and um, vocals, just percussion out, there you can hear that, uh, of course it's stopped now. So 
guitar there. Another cool thing you can do um, is you can widen or narrow the stereo image of each track. So here's the vocals, I just want to widen them. So I just pulled that uh, little box out, makes the stereo image wider. I really like this, it's a really cool way of looking at the, uh, it's a fresh way of looking at the mix, just seeing it visually and being able to move each nodule around. It's a very immediate way of mixing. That's that percussion bit, I think I might move that in a bit. Move the synths out. And there's a melody instrument, I'll just bump that up a little bit. The guitar's a bit loud, I'll just pull it down a bit. Excuse the terrible vocals. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the stereo imaging. Now here comes an, another bit of this uh, Neutron 3 plugin, the kind of mix bus master plugin. Now I've just chosen a quick preset, the pop mix, which has put an equalizer on it and a bit of a compressor on it. Just kind of tighten up the sound a little bit. That's a multiband. Compressor, so it's compressing the bass a little bit harder than the other frequency ranges. Here's some other elements. I'm going to add this sculptor one. I like this sculptor one. I think it's new to this version of Neutron. But it listens to the incoming audio and I think bumps up frequency ranges that are lacking a little bit to kind of fill out the sound. Uh, I've used the polished version here so I think it just fills the top end a bit more. Let's listen to it before and after. Makes a massive difference. Pretty cool. Great, so there you have the quick walkthrough of the Neutron 3 Mix Assistant. It's not a massively in-depth review, but hopefully it gives you an idea of what the plugin's capable of. It's pretty intuitive, and I think for for me as like a fairly good mixer, uh, I found it pretty helpful. It would be a good place to start. I think it, it's advertised as just being a place to start your mix, and you build off this. So I think in terms of getting a good balance of sounds, I think I did a great job on my track.